Duran Duran then here on Swansea Show. That shut you all up, didn't it? Then <laughs> when the light went on, Duran Duran, you know, I've been dying to do this all morning. Here we go. It's the cold time. Chico's in the house. Good morning. How are you, mate? Right? Oh, better for, for seeing you and oh, meeting you in, in you, person. Man. How good are you? Yeah, lovely lovely to see you. And fair play, that song there, it went straight to number one, which is something to be proud of. That's Absolutely. normally the Absolutely. Look, uh, you know, m- most real artists and real musicians and real singers wish to have a number one. And, uh, you know, uh, love it or hate it, you can't ignore it. It's in the history books and it knocked Madonna for the top spot. And hey, fair who am I to complain? I'm <laughs> So let explain this now. Born in Bajen, moved to Morocco where you grew up and then to Crawley in West Sussex. That's right. Uh, That's journey, yeah. yeah, I mean, what 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 a journey. I, I, I am a Welsh-born, Moroccan, goat-herding, stripping, singing, now ice-skating star. I mean, you couldn't write that, could you? <laughs> and and you, you've genuinely done all those things, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, there, there was, it was a... It was a uh, all of those things and and done in a way that um, nobody else probably did them <laughs> and yeah enjoyed them and here we are I'm, uh, you know loving looking forward to cinderella with your good yeah. self yeah we are well we'll talk about that in a moment but the x factor simon cowell actually walked out of your original edition and you went on to what we would i guess call the quarterfinals that's right uh well the funny thing is is this is the genius of the man because i thought he walked out on purpose but little did i know that it was all an act uh, because when I actually reached the quarterfinals and, and went out, I went to his room just to say thank you. And as I walked in, because he would always be, you know, rubbishing me and telling me I'm no good, etc., etc., until when Chico time come about and he called it sort of horribly wrong yeah. uh, or horribly uh, like so he paid me sort of a backhand yeah. compliment. But when I walked in, he just he said, Chico, Chico, my dear boy. Contrary to what you think or what the country thinks, I loved you from the first moment you walked in and thank you for making my show. That's well, great. I could have just, he could have gone and I would have fallen over. But was it even more amazing was um, two months later in the Royal Albert Hall where there was a TV awards and the X Factor had won. He was just about to uh, sort of give a speech and, and, and uh, he sort of stood up and said, well, it's Chico in the house. And I was like, they can't be talking to me. The place erupted. I got up on live television and he handed me over the uh, the trophy and said, thank you for winning it for us. So I thought that was a wonderful thing for him to say. What was the jumping into a swimming pool with a live microphone? Was that planned or uh, spur of the moment? No, that was completely spur of the moment because I walked in there thinking I was the last person on there and it was seven people and they can all sing. You know, Andy the Bean Man can sing like Stevie Wonder. Uh, Brenda Edwards was like an Aretha Franklin. And then there was Cheeky Chico. And I thought, oh my God. And they changed my song at the last minute. So I thought, you know what? Can't hit him with the uh, musical, hit him with the physical. That's when I unripped the shirt and I thought, well, go in the pool if you do. And little to little, when I was actually watching this, um, Ozzy Osbourne was there, Penelope Cruz's sister and Rachel Hunter. And I'm thinking, my God, this is a far cry from Crawley Town Centre. <laughs> and, <laughs> right. And uh, so now I'm on my knees and everyone, and you could see Ollie, uh, Ozzy going, <laughs> and I, I'm just thinking, yeah, baby, Chico's arrived. They're loving me. I mean, I didn't re- actually realise that I'm just about to demonstrate to the world what a charcoal goat herder looks like, you know. And anyway, when when I'd finished, uh, he come out to me and he went, oh, I think it was brilliant. They could electrocute yourself in my frigging pole. <laughs> Shut up, you know. Uh, which was absolutely crazy. He said to me, you must be crazy. And at that moment, I thought, hold on a minute. The craziest rock and roll star is just called me crazy. Hmm. Now that. It's something yeah. for the books. <laughs> the, the media started to get very comfortable with you when you almost started to mock yourself, didn't you? They, yeah. You showed them that you weren't taking yourself very seriously. Absolutely. Look, uh, what happened is the uh, people didn't know that, I, that me, the first audition that they've seen was my second audition. Mm. I went as the first audition and they rubbished me and sent me home. And I was absolutely devastated. So a month later, I actually walked back to an open audition and basically try to go back in. And again, I thought, I'm going to change my image, I'm going to stay, change my style, etc., etc. But it was a case of like a fighter who gets knocked down and comes back and says, I'm going to change my tactics. So basically, Humble has left the building because Humble didn't work. When I went in, they were very nice. Oh, hi, I would like to do this. Can I sing this song? Oh, they just sent me home. When I went back, they went, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to break America. And I'm bl-. People were like, who the hell does he think he is? Mm. So it captured the moment basically mm. and, and that was why it was just a, an act in the beginning but at the end people were like 
taking it so serious and that's why i went you can get the lyrics if you take life too serious it's chico time it's just have fun and uh, that was it I, and just we, we, we'll talk about panda in a moment but it didn't put you off from doing a show with judges as last year you tried skating dancing on ice one of your routines got louis spence very excited yes uh a sexy year and i know it no it was a song that you know like you don't get chosen you don't choose your own music nor your choreography you know so they give it to you and uh, and you just go with it and for me i've been out of the public eye for a little time, for a little bit of uh, time, I suppose, for a good, you know, two years, really, because I've done pretty well up to about two years ago. And it really was Chico time out, you know. So when this opportunity presented itself, I had no choice. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, it was a very difficult year for me last year. Because um, <clears throat> Jonathan never booked me. Anyway, that's another story. <laughs> 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 no, but, um, no, it was, a, it was a very, very tough year. And when the opportunity came, I absolutely jumped at the chance, and I thought, you know what, why not? And uh, and here I am, yeah, fantastic. Were you an experienced skater? Because I wouldn't have thought there were many opportunities for Moroccan goat herders to go uh, ice skating. Absolutely not. Uh, I have never, ever even been on skates before, and it was desperate measures, really, because, <laughs> you know, it was like an opportunity that presented itself and it was it felt like a blessing, and I took it with both uh, feet and, and skated all the way to the final, which is... Uh, a remarkable achievement for someone who's never skated before. Fantastic. Well, stay with us. Please, so there's a tea or a coffee there. Thank I'm not too much. sure what it is. Have a little slurp and we'll chat some more. Uh, it's Chico time. Diana Ross then and the happening. Chico with us on the show uh, this morning. Uh, you, you, you're in Swansea to talk about uh, pantomime, which uh, may seem a long way away, but it, you know these things happen around this time. What was Panto the first kind of stage experience in terms of, of, of with a script and a producer and a director? Was that your first experience? Yes, it was. Uh, I, I played Aladdin three times um, for Kudos and. Uh, and this is, and then I also played uh, Jack and the Beanstalk last year. So this is actually my fifth panto. Mm. And this is, I was always aspiring to uh, to 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 play Prince Charming, and uh, and it's happened now. And you know what's so amazing about all this is. I've always wanted to come back to my birth country because I'm man. born in Bridgend. Yeah, see? good boy. And the Princess of Wales Hospital, and and my first gig outside the X Factor was in Swansea, and it, I I shall never forget it for the rest of my life. Doesn't matter what we played after that, Wembley, Manchester Arena. It never, never, uh, uh, it was never equaled the the first gig which was in Swansea and to come back and actually uh, play Prince Charming in Cinderella uh, is just incredible I'm absolutely humbled and honoured to be here do, do you know what in 21 years of doing Pando they've never asked me to play Prince Charming <laughs> I look left I look I glance cynically and sarcastically at our producer and say hmm. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a fabulous panto. I, just, I can just feel it. Not once. Yeah. No, it hurts. It does. You understand, don't you? <laughs> Completely. It hurts. It just yeah. hurts. You know? yeah, I've, been I've, been I've been asking him if, if I can play the ugly sister, and he's looking at me funny either. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, do, do you have? Do you find you, you have a, a, a great affinity with Wales? I mean, oh, where completely. you're born, you know, it doesn't matter where you go to, where you move to. It doesn't to. matter where I go, and whenever people say to you, because you know, I'm I'm Welsh by birth, uh, I'm Moroccan by heritage, and I guess I'm British by citizenship. But whenever people say or write about me, it's always Chico Welsh born Moroccan, <laughs> and I'm proud of that title. I really am because uh, uh, you know Welsh, the the Welsh are fantastic people and and what can I say? I, uh, my bestest friends are from Wales. Um, my tour manager is Welsh, and uh, they they're just nice people. Mm. And I'm honoured to be one of them. Hopefully, yeah. And I, 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 I guess Panto isn't very big in Morocco. They... Well, no, we don't know what Panto is. We do know we do know stories. Uh, I mean, well, you have to understand that you know Aladdin. I, I'm I am Aladdin, mm. right? Uh, and um, because Aladdin is actually an Arabic word uh, for, for for it means he who has be the biggest faith or he who believes most and that is pretty much me because you know it was all about the, the uh, um, unreachable dream and he does get the prize at the end of it so I end up playing him and also also the prince it's kind of almost like a a step up you know, he's, he becomes the he becomes the, the the king or whatever it is, and now he's a prince charming, and 
He's gone off and married someone else. Yeah, the minute you start saying, <laughs> I am the ugly sister, I'm poisoning your coffee, I'm just saying you that. All right. uh, these days have to be done, don't they? These these promotion days. Uh, do, do you ever tire of them? Not at all. Um, I never get tired of talking to the, the great... Um, public it, it's the time that you get to express yourself and put your views across as well and people get to hear the real you mm. so it's wonderful and all i can say is um put on your party pants get those tickets in because it's going to be a party i saw you on the right stuff recently ah i saw that fantastic and that's very different isn't it because Completely all of a sudden different. you you're a variety act and you you're doing your song and they're ripping your pants off not in pantomime of course that's i just right. hasten to add that because yeah. the producer gave me a dirty look but then you do get to give you a chat you do get a chance well, to give absolutely you opinions, i mean you? there is a, a lot more to me than just chico time that's the thing and um you know there is there is a physical side there's a musical side and there's a spiritual side mm. uh and so you know, it all depends on who you're talking to and what level you're talking to. And I believe that you should speak to people according to their level of understanding. It's no good, you know, speaking trigonometry with someone who only knows one plus one. You know, so it's pretty much speak to the people on their level of understanding. So it all depends on who I'm speaking to. Sort of and like a, a, a lot of the time, <laughs> a lot of the time people will go, oh, do you know what? I completely had you wrong. You know, it's like when I did the, the right stuff, you know, we were talking about, you know, spiritual elements and some political sort of genders uh, and agendas. And a lot of people like on Twitter are like, oh my God, I didn't know you had that side to you. But, you know, um, just like a book, look inside and uh, you might just discover. No point talking trigger. That are more than just the book cover. <laughs> Trigger, trigger. Oh, it's not important enough to spare that, is it? <laughs> Did I say that right? Trigonometry. I'll tell you what, well, that's the first. Because me, not be funny, my longest word is marmalade. So I've done good there. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, we, we, we meet at the end of, or well, the beginning of December for a uh, lengthy rehearsal period. Uh, people, it's funny because people. Do, I don't know what people think, but now people say, oh, have you started rehearsing yet? They don't realise there's just, what, maybe a 10-day period uh, That's right. We, we start rehearsals on the 3rd of December, yeah. which means I'll be here in the beginning of December. I'm going to hopefully try to you know, come a couple of days to really go out and get to meet the uh, the, the, the locals. And uh, then it starts on the 3rd, we finish on the 13th, and then the big opening is on the 4th, Friday the 14th of December, and we go all the way through to the 13th of January. So... Um, Please come on down. The Fantastic. price is right. Fantastic. What time is it? It's Kevin Chico time. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> Look at that. And, uh, and, and, and come and stay in a bar afterwards and we'll talk trigonometry, which would be brilliant. With Fantastic. Yeah. And hey. follow at Chico time one and give us your uh, and uh, your opinions. It's That's number one, by the way. Uh, Chico in Pando. I shall be back there myself. Mike Doyle uh, back as well. It'd be lovely to have Doyle back in the show. Gemma James, beautiful uh, Cinderella. She's absolutely the most gorgeous Yeah, I've just performer. seen a picture. Beautiful. Swansea girl. And we're looking forward to, to working with Gemma again and with your good self. We're going to have some fun. It may seem a long way away but soon time will soon fly and the the tickets are tickets are flying out so get your tickets at 1792 475 715 at grand theater box office chico my friend it's been a joy to meet you likewise and we look forward to spending uh, the christmas period together absolutely all the best to you thank you